Have you been wanting a mechanical keyboard, but you can't afford one because gas prices are too high? Or are you knocking yourself over the head because you're debating should you even buy one because you lost all your money in cryptocurrency? Well, guess what? In this next box, in my review, it's going to solve all that real easy. I've been wanting to do a review on a mechanical keyboard, but lately because they're the thing that's in, they've been getting really pricey. So I decided to look around Amazon and see if I could find a budget mechanical keyboard that would really suit me well. And surprise, surprise, I came across a GK61. It's under $40. I say, hey, it's okay to spend that. Let me go ahead and try it. Let's do a walk around. If you're new to 60% mechanical keyboards, you're going to have to look over the manual regardless of what you believe you may know. This keyboard keeps the size by not having some of those simple keys like arrow keys and a number pad. Functions like Bluetooth and changes to the RGB lighting can be found here. Nothing crazy here. It's a 5 foot USB braided branded cable that matches the color of the keyboard. I do like the form factor of the USB type A and at the other end it's a USB type C. Surprising to see this in a budget board under $40. What is also included inside are a pair of Gateron switches, one brown and one red just to see if you want to try it out and upgrade in the future. It's nice that they also included the tools that you'll need in order to swap out the switches and swap out the keys. And then of course the TMKB. GK61 mechanical keyboard. On the back you have these rubber grommets that are going to be able to stable the keyboard on your desk. Also nestled along the corner is the USB receiver which is a nice touch and then you have these kick out stands that uh, arch the keyboard. On the back side you also see the connection which is USB type C and I've got to say this is an extremely sturdy board for being under $40. Also so you don't waste your battery, you have to switch along the back that you can turn on or turn off the keyboard. Now once you turn on the GK61, you're going to be greeted with this RGB butteriness. And we all know RGB makes us type faster, right? Maybe. I don't know. Like it mentioned in the manual, you're going to have to hold down function to do some actions. For example, connecting the Bluetooth will be the function button and hold it down Z for 3 seconds. Once Z starts flashing, Windows should automatically recognize it and you should be able to connect extremely easy. The keycaps are PBS. This is definitely one of the ways they were able to keep the keyboard under $40. Now I got the Gateron black switches, that's what came with my keyboard, but they're also available in blue, brown, and red and they built very well. Let's go ahead and listen to them for a sec. Well now, didn't that sound pretty? Any case, I decided to go to the company's website to see if I could find some more information about the keyboard. I found this picture that I really enjoyed because it, it gives a good comparison between a standard keyboard and its keyboard. As you can see, you're probably going to have a lot of space on your desk because of the size of this thing. Any case, one of the features they brought up was the 1900 milliamp battery. Now for me, heavy use, surfing the net, editing couple word documents I would go maybe three to four days with the RGB on with the RGB off I would go six to seven days before I had it connected with the USB type C cable to the desktop now one of the things they've also brought up and I've used myself very successfully 
is the support of multiple devices at one time. It's Bluetooth for 2.4 gigahertz Bluetooth. I was seamlessly able to go between my Samsung tablet, my desktop, and my Samsung cell phone. And for those individuals that are interested in our Mac users, I have some great news for you. You can use this keyboard with both Mac and Windows. Very, very good. Something that wasn't good was definitely the software that's supposed to support this keyboard's customization. The ability to create your own backlighting, uh, program the own keys. I had a lot of issues with the keyboard connecting via cable and Bluetooth when I had to play with this software. So, you know, it's a budget keyboard. I'm sure there's something that they're gonna catch up to and they're gonna work all the bugs out. But this feature, I couldn't test out fully, sadly to say. So let me ooh and ah you with this light show while I provide some of my final thoughts. This board for a budget keyboard or even for a mid-range keyboard, I would pay $60 to $70 for this keyboard compared to some of the other things that are already out there. I was really, really surprised with how well built the keyboard is, how compact the keyboard is, the different features, like one, being able to connect to three different devices at the same time, two, being able to switch between a Mac and a Windows PC or desktop, and then of course, the price. I just drool over it. Let me tell you, if you're a relative of mine, you're probably gonna get one of these in your Christmas stockings. And if you're not a relative of mine, you're still gonna get one any case because this thing just is so budget friendly. And I'll leave my Amazon link down below. It gives me a little kickback, it helps the channel. So if you like what I said here and you like what I showed you here and you see some of my other videos that you like, go ahead, subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Gadget Fox out.